Welcome to an aerial tour of Tampa Bay Downs. It was a, a beautiful Thursday, uh, January the 6th, decided to head out to the track and fly the drone about. And if you've never been to Tampa Bay Downs, maybe give you a little bit of a uh, overview from the air of what the uh, track looks like from anywhere from 50 to 200 feet up. Uh, here's the paddock. This is a brand new thing they did this year. Uh, it used to always be grass, and now it's uh, kind of an artificial turf surface with that new logo painted on and looks great on camera. Uh, this is the other side of the paddock. This is the saddling part of the paddock where the horses get saddled for the races. And uh, right to the right here, we're going to pan up just a touch. That's the jockey's quarters. And uh, this is also the walking ring. Uh, after the horses are saddled up, the connections will wait there and talk strategy before the horses head on to the racetrack. We're going to uh, slowly pan away from that, and uh, you'll see the parking lot. That's Racetrack Road out behind the uh, jock's quarters there. We'll uh, probably see Racetrack Road a couple times throughout this video. And then this is actually looking to, uh, toward the 8th pole. There's a picnic area and a tent area down there where you can set up shop and, also, of course, come over to the paddock, but also watch the races from mid-stretch. And then here I think I turn around and look back toward the grandstand. Again, there's Racetrack Road. There's one of the two stoplight entrances to Tampa Bay Downs. The other is a little further south. So we'll uh, pan around here to see the main part of the grandstand, and then we'll do a little scan of the grandstand. There it is. So starting down at the end here, of course, lower level, you have a lot of uh, bar seating and uh, outdoor seating. There's the bleachers in the second level, and then up on top of the roof is Equibase on the right. A lot of press boxes, television pan cameras, the stewards, the placing judges. Uh, my uh, announcer's booth is right there. It's that little window there before the, the little gap in the green uh, paint there. This is the clubhouse and where you can, uh, there's a separate entrance for the clubhouse and also uh, fine dining for uh, watching the races down in the clubhouse. And then again, we'll scan back here along the main part of the grandstand. Very low profile grandstand compared to some other tracks. I did a video for this, uh, similar to this with Colonial Downs like, uh, last year or two years ago. I forget when it was, but um, Colonial, our press box and booth is like six floors up and here it's three. So it's a lot lower profile, which is good and bad in terms of calling the races. Makes it a little more challenging to get a depth perception, but you also feel like you're closer to it, which I like. There's part of the parking lot and again, racetrack road out there. And then uh, looking off into the distance, we're looking uh, west towards... Uh, Dunedin and Clearwater and the Gulf of Mexico. Now, one really cool thing about Tampa Bay Downs is there's also a golf practice facility basically on the property, right? Uh, back there, you can see there's a driving range, practice putting greens, practice sand traps, and uh, it's all right there on the property. So now we're heading out over the turf course, and uh, there's the main part of the turf course on the left, and the chute is uh, straight ahead. We're going to go all the way down to the end of the chute. Now, the very end of the chute here is a mile and an eighth race because you'll go all the way through the chute and then one lap of the turf course. Now, the turf course is seven furlongs from finish line to finish line, and so this is this chute allows us to have both mile races mile and a 16th races, and then all the way back to mile and an eighth races, which some of our, of course, big stakes start all the way back there. So we're going to fly all the way back to the end of the chute, past the pond, and then we'll start our run through the, through the uh, turf chute. Now the sun, I was flying into the sun, so it, the grass looks a little bit of a different color. Like right here is kind of its normal look. And then when we go into the sun, which will be right about now, uh, it looks a little different, so apologize for that. But uh, this is sped up a little bit, and uh, we're going uh, double time, and we're just about to the mile starting point, which was uh, a lot of our races start right there. You can kind of see the marks from the gate uh, going over. But as you see with the mile races, it's not a very long run. In fact, it's uh, just over a 16th of a mile because there's the 7.5 pole to your left. The rail's out at 22 feet right now. And then you kind of peel into the home stretch, and you have about a 16th of a mile, maybe just a touch more because here's the finish line right there on the left. Sorry, my 
steering was a little off. And then um, you can see going to the six and a half pole, the turn starts right about there. So a little over a 16th of a mile once you get into the stretch to find position. But it's almost, you know, those two turn races coming out of the chute, they're almost like a two and a half turn race uh, in a sense. This is a uh, uprising shot, so you can kind of get a sense of the backstretch in the barns. That's the five furlong pole on the turf and the five and a half furlong pole on the dirt. Uh, right to the right of that is the on and the off gap where horses come on and off in the morning for training. You can see the water truck out there, but gives you a sense of the scope of the uh, backstretch here, Tampa Bay Downs there. And we'll talk about the cottage in a little bit, which we'll, you can kind of see there in the bottom left. Um, and then, yeah, barns continue on. Then the race office is down in the right corner there by the seven furlong chute which we will go to now we're down in the seven furlong chute and this will give you a little bit of an idea of you know if you've watched the races from tampa bay downs you know that uh, the trees are part of the uh experience <laughs> we'll say of watching the seven furlong races and i've noticed for calling them if we have like a seven or an eight horse field there's a little gap in the trees and i can see the seven and the eight horse come up but if there's less or more than that it's kind of hard to see when that last horse goes in the gate but i hear the stewards next to me they'll say they're all in and so that's how i know uh if indeed that last horse is in the gate but this is just kind of a zoom shot over the back stretch and uh the turf sprints all start right that pole on the left on the inside of the turf that's the five eighths pole so when we have turf sprints they're starting right there and you get a full run down the back stretch before the one turn race So here's the five eighths mark. Okay, so there's the cottage. That's apparently I, I haven't heard the whole story, but George Steinbrenner, I guess, used to own that and would have like parties and he'd come out and like watch training and and that was like his Tampa cottage. And so I think they still do events and stuff there. Um, you'll have to ask people who are a little more seasoned with Tampa Bay Downs than I am. I've still I've only been here a couple months, but just continuing down the back stretch, you can see kind of the. Nice trees in the background. This is the half mile pole on the turf on the left right there and the four and a half on the dirt. I'm going to pan around here and do a little bit of a spinorama shot of the infield lakes. There's two of them. This big lake here, that's where the crocodile is. And I've seen him. I usually check for him every day when I get there to the races. And I've seen him kind of on the side of the pond a couple of times. This is where I'm trying to figure out where my shot's going. But, um, yeah, he, it's, uh, it's I'm not being from Florida, it's just it's surreal to see alligators <laughs> just hanging out <laughs> and they do here so I'm going to kind of head back in toward the front side and I wanted to just give an overshot of the turn uh, on the dirt track just to give you an idea of the angle of a dirt turn so this is kind of coming up to the 7 eighths pole I'm out there in the parking lot straight ahead flying the drone <laughs> And you can kind of get a sense. I mean, it's, Tampa is a traditional one-mile oval that is, you know, pretty standard in terms of a, a 3 16th mile home stretch, you know, mile on the main track, seven furlongs on the turf, and the uh, seven furlong shoot obviously adds some extra options for, for races. You know, a track like Monmouth just has the six furlongs, but um, Emerald Downs actually only has a six-and-a-half furlong shoot, which is the same as Long Acres, my other hometown track. Now, funny enough, as we come here by the three-quarter mile pole, uh, there was a gentleman out running on the track <laughs> right there on the right. And we kind of sneak over the top of him here in a second. He was making time too. Like he was, he, he's, you can see he's moving around. There. I'm not speeding the film up at all. Like that's the pace he's going. And he was on like lap three by the time I was back here on the backstretch taping. So this is just the final shot kind of wrapped around and then I'll come in over the pond and over the grandstand but uh, i thought it would be fun to show a video of uh, beautiful tampa bay downs i love it here i love the track and i hope you guys get to come out and join us and love it as well it's a wonderful place so thanks everyone for watching